Where was that? Mm. Must have been about four, four years old, yes. And I've been in the studio with my mum. Mum usually had classes in the evening with, um, at the time, the artists of the town, the city. And I think I've been given the opportunity to um, draw just a bit. And I've painted a 3D picture of a sand tower um, with a sun that goes into the sand tower going to sleep. And the sand tower was in 3D, so it had the optical illusions of um, the perspective, and it did have um, small trees on the back, big trees in the front. And I think this was the time where my parents have um, found out that I might have gifts that I've inherited from, from both of them. My father was more technical in um, drawing and uh, mum was uh, the typical winged artist. I think it'll be the power of contradictions, a plus and minus in this life. I'm not um, a mellow person. I might have mellow pictures, some of them are quite mellow, but most of them are more dramatic, um, displaying movement, displaying impressions and, and visions as well. I'm no charlatan, I'm very much down to the ground person. Um, for an artist I'm practically too calculative and too logical. Um, some of my paintings I approach with mathematical precision uh, where I see equations, where I see um, optical uh, law that needs to be maintained. But the visions, my visions are situations that I see, I dream of, and some of them are coming true or some of them uh, will materialise in the real life, but uh, I wouldn't classify myself as um, a precognitive painter. There is a guy called Stephen Dullows. I think he is the master of capturing light. Here I am Porsche is probably one of the strongest influences of my life. I like things very little and very plain and I like things very pompous, flamboyant and crazy. Look at it, I've got a very plain grey shirt and then <laughs> Hello Kitty socks. Something that, you know, they're omnipotent. <laughs> Hello Kitty. Pink socks. That's a key, always reminder of, um, of a child in you.